What's going on everybody? LK here, back at it yet again with another video. Today, going to part three of the team building series. Remember that this is building up to what you're actually waiting for. It's probably the tier list, my tier list specifically. So this week is anchors, the third part of your team. So this is a quick recap. Two weeks ago, I talked about uh, point characters, but also how I have a theory that the devs kind of want to see dominant characters, not dominant teams. This is reflected by seeing characters like Bardock and Adult Gohan on a lot of teams, but then the two characters with them not necessarily always being the same characters, right? And then last week, uh, I talked about mids and also the idea of three-man squads versus two-man shells. So the three-man squad being a team where if one character dies, it kind of falls apart, but when all three of them are there, the team's really good, as opposed to two-man shells being both just pairs of two characters that work well together, like Adult Gohan Yamcha, and the idea of a team where it's multiple shells that could be swapped around and it's always good. So this week, anchors. So the anchors are... You would think it would be pretty easy to talk about anchors in this game because of how frequently we say the same anchors. So as of right now, probably the most common anchors you see in the game upright would be these two and then a special shout out to this guy. He's still the MVP. These are probably the three most common anchors, but most people pick these characters as anchors because they see other people pick these characters as anchors. And in the case of Super Saiyan Vegeta, he kind of fell off a little bit just because people seem to think that he doesn't fulfill that role as well anymore, which I definitely cannot see why. But you also can't blame people for picking the same anchors as other people. So we first we have to look at why people pick these characters in the first place, and then what actually makes a good anchor character overall. Because these might be the three most common ones, but there are other characters you see as anchors kind of uncommonly, right? Like, uh, this would be, it definitely Trunks would be an example of a character that most people assume would be put anchor. I think, uh, honestly, I might have been the person who started playing him mid, like, I think he's a better bit than Anchor, but anyway. So as far as Anchor, if you start with Super Saiyan Goku, because he's probably the most common Anchor in play right now, if you start with Super Saiyan Goku, the main reason people pick him as Anchor honestly is because they're using him to complete out the squad. He's just a support. So in his case, they're not actually picking Super Saiyan Goku for the last slot because he's a good anchor. They're picking him because his role is support, and if their game plan works the right way, you shouldn't have to play him at all. So take, um, take say, the Bomb 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 team. This team has gotten much more popular since the War Tour Finals. I run into it decent, a decent amount these days. Take, like, this team. Take this team. If this team works the way it's supposed to, you're not supposed to actually play Goku at all. You're just supposed to be calling him. You're never supposed to actually touch him. You won't see people DHC to him. You won't see people guard cancel to him. They want the support, and their goal is to beat you without actually getting to the end. You can see this in, let's say, you can even look at Goichi's team, for example. So, Goichi team, remember, dominant character. So, you got Bardock, GT... SSJ. Okay. So same thing. Ideally, he never actually plays Super Saiyan Goku. Ideally. Ideally, he kills your first character with Bardock, brings in GT, explodes your second character, brings Bardock back in. Now you have to deal with Super Bardock who can whiff Larry up and forward and cover the up angle and cover for you. Like, the ideal is he never plays Super Saiyan Goku. So you can use that for any other type of beam. Like, people who pick... People who pick uh, SSJ, uh, Goku Black, uh, the rare, the, the rare anchor Zamasu, uh, who else would I would fall into this? Tien, like all of these people who pick beams for the last slot, their goal is to not actually play those characters. 
So the next site would be Yamcha Tape. So Yamcha Assist, of course, is an amazing support assist also. But there's another thing that he does really well, and his comeback potential is high. And his comeback potential is high because he's one of the few characters in the game that could open you up without assists, one, and not in Sparky, two. It is not a common thing in this game. Most characters need assist or Sparky. So for example, my boy Trunks, my boy Trunks, memes about his mix ability aside, in Sparking, I'm pretty sure everyone agrees he can open you up in Sparking. But if you're using, if you're running a team like, of course this is probably the, where is Kipu? Reminder, it's probably the most common Trunks team right now, this one. So if you're running this team, are you really going to save your spark for trunks? You don't know. It depends on your sparking usage, blah, blah, blah. But if you're saving your sparky for trunks, you basically have 20 seconds to hit them, and after that, you just have a neutral machine. So the thing about Yamcha Anchor specifically is that it's like the last backup plan. It's if, if I'm really, really getting washed, I can play Yamcha and I have a chance of coming back. His game plan is pretty simple and he's good. So, who else in this game can open you up without assist, without sparking? Here's the guy right here, Andrew 16. Character people don't really play anymore, but remember how, like last year, how many people used to run Android 16. Bro, another character, Command Greg characters. They can open you up alone, without assists. The other thing you could think of too for your anchor character is can they hit you with a level 3? So, even though, I mean I only listed a couple of examples of characters that could open you up without assists, but even if they can't do it the way Yamcha can or the way Broly can, at least with a level 3, they might be able to do it. So, you start going into like fle more flexible characters, like 21, let's say, or like Piccolo can open you up with his level 3. Of course, GT can open you up with his spear bomb, but we all know he needs, he generally needs assist for that or for bars, so people won't usually run him last. Now, this leads us to what you want to do, pretty much. So, you can start looking into team builds, and this will be my team building video for next week. Uh, I will actually go and look at some people's teams, people you know, too and basically break them down like this. So, to start, we could just use my team, real quick, okay, my team. You, you would think I would know where Bardock is on the character select screen. Yeah, I'm running four characters right now, but this is a team that people really know me for, right? Bardock, amazing point, moves around, has anti-air, uh, does a lot of damage. I have one finger up the whole time, you know, I'm listing all these amazing things about him. Has a key blast for no reason. Um, can, can fuzzy characters with uh, uh, without snapping them, like he can do a lot of stuff, right? Trunks, assist, really good. If Bardock gets destroyed, Trunks comes with a meter, Trunks likes meter, his neutral is really good, he doesn't need a beam. Yamcha, if I'm really getting washed, I still have a last, last, last backup emergency plan in case Bardock and Trunks die. Then when you look at the two pair combinations, Bardock, Trunks is amazing, Trunks, Yamcha is amazing, Trunks Bardock is okay. Trunks, uh, I said Trunks Yamcha already. So Yamcha Trunks is really good. Yamcha Bardock is like I. So most of my combinations of characters are good. And of course, the three character unit is very good too, in my opinion. In my opinion. So, as a final recap, the basic two types of assists are your support assists, right? And your whole goal is to not play them in the first place for your emergency backup plan. I think it's not too hard to talk about anchors, but the thing, like the sticking point for people is like, they think really hard about the anchor rather than just the support. Because most people just want the support. When people want a beam, they just want the support. So just remember that when you do get to your solo Super Saiyan Goku, that your main plan failed, basically. Your main plan failed and you don't have a backup. But it's okay, because your main plan should be good enough that you don't have to actually play your Vegeta or Goku in the first place. Hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, 
leave a comment if you have a question or if you just like the video. Like or subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.